In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the location of every hidden safe in Brookhaven houses. And I'll even show some secrets that they hide. But before any of that, I challenge you to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel in under 3 seconds. 3, 2, one! Did you do it? If you didn't know, there's tons of houses in Brookhaven, and I mean a lot. But we're gonna start a bit differently. The first one I'm gonna show you guys is at Town Hall. Maybe you didn't know, but there's an actual safe in this place. It's a public safe, I guess. Anyone can open it as they please. And of course, if we go into our inventory and grab the C4, we can also blow it up and steal it, which is for sure weird since it's public. But that money is ours now then. Another safe we can find that isn't inside a house is in Brookhaven Bank. For us to do that, we'll need to grab this green card. With it, we can pass through this door and there is the vault. We just need to blow it up like that. I guess we're basically stealing all the money in the city. So yeah, that's a little fun for you to get. We can also go ahead and steal it from the cash register at the grocery store. You just need to put the C4 there and blow it up as normal. Then you can pick all the money that's there. It may not be a safe, but it's still a money container. You can also find that same cash register over at the food mart. Now, the first homes I'll be showing the location of the safes are going to be at Brookhaven Apartments. Let's start by looking at the first one on the list. This one isn't really hidden. We just have to go to the main bedroom and it'll be right there. That's just some easy pickings if you ask me. Next up, we'll be looking into this one. It's one of those penthouse ones. Also not a hard one to find. You just go to the main bedroom and you'll find it in their closet. Pretty easy as well. This is the next one we'll be looking at. Another easy one to find. Even before the bedroom, you can find it in this hall. Way. There are just some homes that their safes are not made to be hidden, I guess. We'll look into this penthouse now. I think this one is one of my favorite ones. This is basically a bike and skate shop, and I love these bicycles. You must be asking yourself where the safe is, for that you take a right in this corridor. There you'll find this nice little bedroom, pretty simple room. But actually, you may want to take a better look at that mirror, since you can literally enter this thing and find the safe's corridor. Now this is quite a cool little nook to hide this safe. Now let's take a look at this futuristic one. It is still an apartment, but I have to say, this is one of the best hidden safes in the game in my opinion. For you to find it, you have to go to the bathroom where you go into the mirror like the last one. And as you get in, we'll find the safe's corridor. And with it, all the money we can steal. And the last apartment we have to show is this one right here. This one literally has a fountain in it. By the way, that fountain only shows up in two other places than here. And one of them is the spawn area. Now the safe of this place is kinda cool. Not gonna lie. We just need to go to the home library of the place. Place. And if we click this wall, it'll open up for us to go through. And there is where we'll find that safe. Pretty simple, but I kind of like it. I would say this is one of the easiest ones, but there are so many easier ones. Now that we're done with the apartments, I gotta show you the safes in every house that there is in Brookhaven, premium or not. Just so you know, I'll start from the top and go down from there until the end. And this is our first house. Not a hard one to find. If you go to the main bedroom on the second floor, you'll find it fairly quickly. So let's go to the second house. This one I actually really like how the safe works. It's quite a bit hidden. You actually need to click this plant so it opens up this hidden room with the safe. Pretty simple and effective. And if you're wondering how to get out, just click the bright green button. Let's continue to our third. This one doesn't have many secrets. Since if you go to the second floor, here in the bedroom, it'll be staring right at you. Do you want to know where the one in this house is? This one's for sure a beach house. It even has a little shallow pool in the front of it, which is cool. Anyways, we first need to be on the second floor. After that, we'll go straight to the bathroom. That actually happens a lot. It basically is behind this wall. But for you to open it, you need to click this long mirror on the wall. When that's done, you'll be able to go right through giving us the opportunity to get all that money. This would be the next house I was gonna show you guys. But actually, it's one of the few homes that actually doesn't have a safe inside. Well, if you think about it, it isn't really a house. It's more of a rocket ship. I'm mostly kidding. It's still quite a nice little living space to have. We even have bananas to eat. It's very interesting to find exceptions to the safes though. Oh, there's also a secret in this one. 
We need first to be in this control room. If we go up here and jump right here, we'll actually find a hidden ladder. Whenever we go up to it, we'll find this thing, which should be the ship's core or something like that. Now this is really cool sci-fi. Now let's take a look at this one. This one's more of those RP places for players, and it wasn't added too long ago. It's safe is pretty cool too. First we go into this outhouse and sit down for a bit. After a bit of that, we'll actually be able to go through this floor and into the safe hidden room. And if you need to get out, just use the glowing button as always. Looks like we're doing a mobile home. This trailer is pretty small, so you can't do much to hide it. It's just really easy to find. It's one room. What can you do? Now this one I like. It for sure is one of the tallest houses. It's basically fully made in layers. And the safe is at the top. So we have quite a few ladders to climb up. It's just there though. It's not really hidden. You just have to climb for a bit. And to get out is even easier. Just jump straight down and we'll be on the first floor again. Why don't we see what this one hides? This one's also not that old. And at least for me, I think it's one of the prettiest ones we have. For this one, we just need to find the main bedroom, get into its bathroom, and we'll find it right in the closet. Oh yeah, there's also a little secret in this one too. If we go into the pool, we can actually go through this wall and find this nice little nook to hang out with the fellas. Next up is this bundle of joy. This one's like a big toy house. That's why I'm this small. We'll even need the height to be able to get the safe. For that we'll need to go to this little plate place and go down this fake floor and to find the safe's room. After that we can just go on our way. Oh yeah, there's also a hidden nook below these stairs. If you're ever needing a hiding place in this house, there you go. But there's another one too. If we jump on top of the fridge, we'll find this little room. Someone even left some chocolates for us if we get hungry. There's even theories that someone lived hidden in there. So that's quite a frightening idea in a house like this. Let's take a look at this one. The safe's pretty easy, but there's quite a secret inside this place that you may not know about. We'll need to be on the second floor. Go into the main bedroom and we'll quickly find the safe. Pretty easy one to find all things considered. And the secret I was talking about is beside it, where we can find an invisible ladder. Oh, maybe I can't do it if I'm small? Let's fix that right quick. Now you can see me go up this ladder, and as we get up there we find some weird stuff. This thing with a glowing triangle and loops, which spooks me a bit. And there's also a glowing triangle on the ground that is censored, as if a secret code was hidden there. I'll look into this one now. This one's easy. You just have to go up, and you'll find the safe beside the bed. Some free money, I guess. Next up is this one. I find this one really beautiful, but sadly the safe isn't hidden at all. You just have to go to the second floor, enter the first room, and you'll find it in that same room. Now I'll be taking a look at this house which is more of a submarine actually. But the safe of this place is really good. One of the most hidden ones I think. For that we need to go to the lowest floor, to this storage room. Just go past this and you'll find the passage that takes you to the safe. Now a secret about this place is that if we try to get a fire disaster, you don't even imagine what it'll be. The fire on the lowest floor is actually green. I think this is the only house you can find with green fire on it, which is really cool. Let's look into this farmhouse. This farm is so nice, as it also has one if not the most hidden safe of them all. For you to actually find it, you'll need a shovel like this one. With it in hand, we need to dig up in the right place below this water tower. And there we go, we found the dirt room of the safe. Now tell me if you think someone would try to do that without knowing. Now to get back up we just need to dig right here next we'll look into this one this house is like my helper of secrets she's normally part of most secrets that i have to do whenever i show it to you guys but in any way what we need to do is click the elevator to the attic which is quite handy since it takes us right in front of the house's safe and since i talked about secrets one of the most useful steps to secrets is to go to this attic and find this glowing claw. We still don't know the origins of it, but it's for sure very useful in my day to day. What about this one right here? Well, it's quite simple really. We just go to the second floor and you'll find it in front of these beds. No biggie at all. Pretty fast too. Let's drive onto this one. Now this one has a more complex way to get the safe, since it's actually hidden, different from some others. For that we need to be on the second floor and go to the main bedroom. Now for you to find the safe, we need to click this picture of a wheel. Whenever we do that this wall will open and we'll find the safe just chilling there. Does this one have anything for us? This one's quite an oldie when it comes to houses. 
so we really just need to go to the second floor. Go to its bathroom and you'll find it in the closet. You may have already recognized it, but most of the new houses have more of a hidden safe, different from the old ones that are in the game. Those ones normally have it in the bedroom itself or in the closet. I'll show you guys this one now. By the way, this house is the only one that has a statue in the middle of it. Who even has one of these in the middle of the living room? At least it's unique. Let's go on our way to the second floor and we'll find the safe next to the bed. Pretty easy as well. Next up is this house. Another easy one to find. You guessed it. Another old Brookhaven house. So as you imagined, just go into the room and you'll find it quickly. Now let's take a look at this one. This is quite an old Brookhaven house. Which is weird, since there are people that still don't know where the safe is. So let me show you guys now. To start, we need to go into the water and swim right over here, where we'll find ourselves in this green tunnel. Now you just have to find the fake wall with the water and you'll finally discover the safe of this house. What about this one? This is a modern styled house, which looks glorious. But looks are not the only thing, since its safe is very badly guarded by being in a closet. Let me show you this one. Another easy one to deal with. You just go to the second floor and it's right there on your face. It's finally time to have a look at the tree house. This is also quite an oldie, but it's still used because as everyone knows, tree houses are really cool. But at last, it's safe is just in the bedroom for everyone to see. We'll be looking at this one now. This is a premium house and still it has a really easy safe to get. We just need to get to the bedroom on the top floor, go to the bathroom and then the closet with, of course, the safe. What about a safe in a bakery? I think this house is quite fun. We can find all kinds of pastries in the counter. By the way, this one's a very important house for some secrets you can do in the map too. And the safe of it is hidden right up here. You get on top of the frame and jump into this hidden attic. We can find some bizarre stuff in here, like these sleeping bags. One big, one small. There are some papers on the table, which seems like a place people would meet at. And right over here, we can get the safe of this place. Do you know where the safe of this one is? I doubt you wouldn't, since it's another one of those bedroom safes. The only thing of note is that this one's actually green and a bit dirty, very different from regular safes we find. Next up, let's look at this beauty. This one's really easy. We just have to open up the garage. And you see that ladder? On top of it is where the safe is. I'm not even joking. Let me show you where this one is. Not a hard one to find. We just need to go to the top floor of the house and we'll find it right in the bedroom. So it's fairly easy. A cool thing about this place though is that we can go down by slide which is something that only this house has. We'll have to get spooky for this one. This creepy old house may seem scary but we can literally change the lights so it looks more normal easily. This place also hides some secrets from us. One of them is not the safe though. It's another bedroom one. Now the secret I want to tell you about is right beside the bed where we can find this little room. There's some chairs, an X on the floor, a black book, and an agency paper which is actually concerning. Now let me show you this one. It's another easy one to get. We just need to go upstairs and as we enter this room, we just need to go to the closet and we'll find it right there. Always with these closet safes. Let me just get that money and run away. Next up, this yellow one. If I'm being serious, I almost don't see this house being used in the game. But the safe is pretty easy. You can find it next to the bed in the bedroom. Did you think we would look in a bunker? This one's pretty old too. But I love this underground aesthetic it is going for it. Sadly, the safe's pretty easy. We just go into the bedroom and you'll find it in a closet. But there's a secret in here. You'll need to go to the back of the television. Whenever you get there, you'll find this button that as we click it it'll open up a secret passage for us to go down. In here we can find money, gold bars, weapons, explosives, all kinds of stuff. This one's a doozy to find. Not much of a house this one, more of a military base. I think that's why I think this one's so cool. The safe is pretty well hidden and it's pretty hard if you don't know what to do. We need to go this way and now we just need to find the right wall to bump into. And here we are. Good thing we found it. Let's have a look Look at this one. Now this one is quite a hidden safe. We actually need to go to the underground garage for it. Down here we have this pool and shower. We can even take a quick one before getting into the pool. But if we actually click on the shower head, it'll open a hidden passage right there. Which is where we'll find the safe we were looking for. Now let's see this one. This one's not difficult at all to find 
second floor and goes straight to the closet of the main bedroom. Pretty regular stuff. Okay, this one is a bit different. This is one of the houses with the most amount of secrets you can find. The big difference about it is that it also doesn't have a safe. Just like the spaceship. I couldn't find any traces of a safe in this one. A lot of people say, oh, I know where it is, Nando. But it actually seems to have been deleted in an update if it did have one. Also, the secret inside of it, it's down here in their personal library. And even if we try to find it in these hidden places, there's no safe to be found. Look at the most hidden room of this place. There's the notebook with that weird message. But still, no safe in sight. Making it one of the few safeless houses in Brookhaven. I'll show you this one then. I also don't see this one being used often. Almost no one really uses this one for some reason. So it's safe is actually in this bathroom. Like, we can take our shower and everything. But really, we can just pass through here and find the safe's corridor. Just chilling. Let's have a look at this one. Another old Brookhaven house. It's safe is not well hidden like others. We basically just need to find the bedroom again on the second floor. Now this one's very weird. This one's really different as its design is all crooked like this. There's no straight angle to be found. And its safe is in the closet like other ones. If you're in doubt, always check the closet. Can you guess where the safe is in this one? Another easy safe to find. We just need to get to the second floor. Get to the main bedroom where you'll find the bathroom and then the closet with its safe right there. Pretty damn easy. Next up, we'll look at this one. A bit different from the others. We gotta climb up the ladder, jump on top of this, and then we have to be very careful to get to the other side where there's some pillows for some reason. There's a camera in here too, which is fair since it's pointed right at the safe. And finally, this is the last house. The content creator house. This is also a new addition. It was added in one of the latest updates. I call it that because this is full of computers and awards. Look at me holding the gold play button. It's so cool. The safe of this place is easy though. We just need to go to the kitchen and go right to this corner and done. We found the safe. Fairly easy I would say. Since we're done with the houses. It's time to look at the estates. All we have are six of them. So let's go at it from top to bottom again. We'll start with this beautiful mansion. These estates are the most beautiful homes you can have in Brookhaven. It's just so cool to see them. So to find that one, we need to go on the lower floor right over to the indoor gym. The safe is actually hidden behind this wall right here. My way of doing this is to use the bed so I'm able to click the button on the other side and get into this room. Next up, we'll be looking at the prison. I like that we can have these kinds of places is for RP in Brookhaven. The safe of this place is in this employee's only room. As we get in, we can see it right there. No need to do much. But there's a secret in here, which is in the kitchen. The thing is that we can actually go into the vents of this place to go around the inside of its walls. Let's take a look at this mansion now. Few people actually get this one, which is weird. I think it's beautiful. This safe is right here on the kitchen. We just have to jump a bit and we'll find ourselves in the safe's room. What what about this incredible resort? This one's really popular with all the water surrounding it and everything. And it's safe is actually a closet one. But you have to get in here. Click right there to get this lift. And as we go up, we'll be face to face with that safe. Now let me show you where the hotel safe is. This is the third place where the fountain can be found. Let's get in as we'll need the elevator to find it safe. But to do that, we actually have to go up and then down the elevator. And so we can finally get down into the safe's room. Which is nice. There's also a secret in here. Because if we go on this side, we find a secret passage. As if we go down and keep jumping, it'll actually teleport us to a weird place in the hotel. To finish it off, we'll look at this military complex. Now this one's really damn cool. I like how they hid their safe in this one. To find it, we need to go upstairs, right into this conference room. We actually will need to go here to find it. But to activate that, we need to sit down on this chair here first. And now, if we go there, we'll be teleported into the safe's room, which is nice. By the way, this is the only place where you can get this jet. So it's already good only for that. But that's gonna be it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video and comment down below what is your favorite safe hiding place.
go ahead and watch one of the videos on screen right now. They're as good as can be. You should go follow my Roblox profile at NandoYT to be up to date with my stuff. And if you're ever wanting to play some public games with me too, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Roblox coming just for you. Have a good one!